President Trump praised the aide who resigned this week over domestic violence charges. But the president's comments are not quieting this controversy. WBZ's John Keller has been tracking the latest developments. John? Yeah, Paula Liam, amid bipartisan outcry over the case of Rob Porter, the chief secretary forced out over charges of spousal abuse that White House officials reportedly knew about but never acted on, the president today summoned reporters into the Oval Office to express concern for Porter. I was surprised by it, but we certainly wish him well. It's a uh, obviously tough time for him. He From the president, solicitude for Porter, but not a mention of the two ex-wives who say he abused them. He did a very good job when he was in the White House, uh, and we hope he has a wonderful career. And, Hopefully he will have a great career ahead of him. Even as he praises his former aide, the president is reportedly angry with Chief of Staff John Kelly and other staffers for their management of the Porter affair, including his deputy press secretary, for breaking a Cardinal Trump rule. Never apologize. I think it's fair to say that, it, that um, you know, we all could have done better over the last few hours or last, last few days in, in dealing with this situation. There is bipartisan concern over the story in Congress, where sexual harassment charges have brought down several members in recent months. There can be zero tolerance for this. And so as, as you look at the reports that have come out, they're very troubling. Everyone thought that they were going to be able to weather the storm until photographs of one of his wives with a black eye came out. And at the eye of the storm is Kelly, whose efforts to defend his handling of all this are drawing skepticism even within the White House, amid reports that less than two years ago, Kelly was a character witness for a Marine court-martialed for sexual misconduct. He doesn't get it. He really doesn't get it. Now, the willingness of women in recent months to go public with their stories of harassment and abuse has exposed a blind spot toward those issues at a whole variety of institutions, Hollywood, the media, Congress, and now it seems the White House, too. Paula? John Keller, live here in studio. John, thanks.